Hi everyone, uh, this is Karen with Naturally with Karen, and I'm stopping by today with a live stream that's all about uh, a healer is not a battle. To heal is not to battle. And I want to go into a little bit of depth. You may have seen me post many times about how we don't want to, you know, kill everything in our bodies. But we've gotten used to trends for many decades now where we take an anti-life antibiotic. Bless up, Kim. So we take an anti-life pill. We take antibiotics for many, many years now, like Cipro and Flagyl and many others that are actually chemotherapeutic. And I know that for some people, this is going to be a really relatively new concept. You can't drive on all of our spring and summer road trips that we do across country like I've done many times, at least eight or nine times between Minnesota and California and different states without noticing all the different billboards because you're on a road trip and it's interesting to, you know, to notice what they say and pay attention to your new environment that you find yourself on your road trip and learning about where you are. But you're going to see a lot of messages that say, you know, get into our hospital and we will fight that cancer. We will conquer. We will destroy that cancer. And I'm going to tell you that I offer you something very different. Now, 35 years ago, I started with, you've heard me say this, maybe if you've listened to a lot of my videos, I started with raw foods for reversing cancer. But um, there really isn't a title that you can call yourself because we're living in a world where everyone is a, well, if you're not a doctor, meaning an allopathic doctor, they don't really know who you are, what you do. And it's difficult to trust because after all, you know, how do you know what that person knows and if you're really in safekeeping within their hands and in their heart? Do they really know what needs to be done to take good care of you? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. We've all heard the horror stories. And I think realistically, um, for the same reason that I gave up television 35 years ago, the same timing, I set out on this path and I was really awakening. And of course I did it little by little. I'm still learning. I'm never going to say I know it all. I'm definitely still learning. I'm just a lot more selective about who I learn from and where I chose to focus my precious energy. As you become more mature and you have that age number that goes up and you're closer to 60 and 70 and 80, um, you too will become more selective. So I'm less likely to listen to you know, people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s that maybe haven't worked in the trenches like I have with people in Minnesota for 16 years. So people would come in and out, and in order to get licensed within the city, um, I needed to be licensed as a something, a someone. And although my sign today says shaman out front of Tranquility Day Spa, where I rent professional business space, um, there was a long time where I said, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a whatever, and I said, oh, I'm a healer. But what is a healer? So even when I looked it up briefly before I started this video, I saw there's faith healers and within the church and not within the church. And they come and they just kind of put their hands on you. And maybe there's some great ones. There's folks that do Qigong and offer you meditation and exercises and flow with your body. And they help you to come out of some of the mind body psychosomatics. There are other people who just, when they call themselves a healer, are talking about a certification called healing touch therapy. And they've been trained to kind of do, you know, healing touch, which is not at all the kind of much more labor intensive body work that I've been doing with real people for 16 years in Minnesota and before that in California. I am coming live and direct today from a coffee shop called Baraboo in Northeast Minnesota. And um, I'm sitting over here drinking a an orange sunrise, which is an orange, orange Pellegrino and raspberry. So the word healer has actually really been trivialized. We don't really understand what it is. And you can't really fault a lot of younger people because they're being kind of put on um, guard when they become sick and they're being told by traditional doctors, meaning the very, very modern hundred year old, really, about 100 years old, Western allopathic medicine, 
I love allopathic medicine for trauma care, cuts, bruises, um, burns, uh, breaks, um, intensive need for pain relief, you know, immediately. That's absolutely wonderful. But I'm not really so keen on allopathic medicine because it really absents people. It takes you out of understanding or overstanding some of the habits that you need to change. And it takes time with those habits, okay? So we talked about there's faith healers, there's healing touch people, and the majority of the billboards that you drive by on your road trips or even locally, you're gonna find hospital advertisements that say, come on in, we're gonna help you battle that cancer, we're gonna help you fight that cancer, we're gonna help you kill that cancer, and that's precisely what they're going to offer you. That might be the right decision for you because you are the one that makes that decision. If you have a minor child, it might not be the right decision. You might not want that decision for your minor child, and it might be forced upon you through Child Protective Services, also known as CPS. That's when I start to draw the line and feel like, for me, that feels like an infringement of our constitutional rights, which I hope and believe are still in effect in this country that we call us, or the US, okay? It should be about us. It should be democratically about us and not about legislatively taking over other people's children if they decide that that's not in the best interest of their children. So it's not a battle. We have nothing to kill, but we are killing ourselves by using a, an essentially a mustard gas based chemotherapy that goes in and destroys the mitochondria. Um, whether or not that's proven, that's factual. It destroys the cell membrane, and the cell membrane in your body is actually one of the most vital, crucial pieces of your healing because it's where you have the conductivity of the cell and they're communicating with each other. So for example, when I worked with five cases of Parkinson's disease, and I've gotten quite far, but we haven't, I haven't had a case where we've actually healed it yet. Either the client wasn't willing to keep coming for more wellness or the medical industry got involved and it <laughs> kind of threw a wrench in everything. Or sometimes, you know, we got to the person a little bit too late with all of the great work that we did. Um, the majority of the time, you're going to be in a sentiment and potentially antidepressants and potentially benzodiazepines to help you sleep because the L-dopa is very stimulating and the carbidopa. Okay. So um, I've worked with these extensively. I've worked with myasthenia gravis, which is a thymus behind the heart. There's a gland called your thymus and that was completely cured. Um, she lives in Wisconsin. I worked with lupus, which is autoimmune, and that was 85% cured, and she stopped doing um, sessions with me and kind of went back on a standard, standardized diet. Um, I have worked with stage three kidney disease and removing warfarin, which is a powerful blood thinner, and I've actually cured my own ovarian cancer diagnosis. It was triple confirmed through the medical industry. So uh, when it comes to being a healer versus battling, the language that you use and the approach that you take and the mentality that you hold is extremely important. And you may not have someone around you to support you with actually healing versus just killing things out of you. Just, you know, it's, it's the same approach that we do when we have spiders and insects, like we wanna kill them, we wanna get rid of them, we wanna lay out traps for the mice and the rats, and we just wanna get rid of something, right? There might be a really rare instance that you need to do that, but the majority of the time, it's actually overkill, okay? Now, people have scoffed at me for speaking this way for well, well over 20, 25, well, before my son was born, so well over 25 years, I've said, that cancer is a replication of our cells and it's caused by food drugs because I started to feel the difference between not having food drugs on an absolute daily basis and getting out and walking and improving my daily habits. So it would be easy to just throw me into the camp of she just does health food, she just does food, she just does detoxification. I don't just do any of those things. In fact, the gathering process that I do is an ongoing with you through the video screen in a very friendly, lighthearted way. I need to know what medications, what diagnosis, what symptoms you have, 
when you were diagnosed, how many children you have, and a lot of this is going to be on the wellness form you fill out before we even get started. So you're not paying me for my time. I'm reading the wellness form at naturallywithkaren.com under consults on my time for you. Whether it is anxiety, depression, panic attacks, skin rashes, ADHD that you had in high school, whatever it is, if you shut down and you realize, I'm not reading books anymore, I'm not getting together with people in real time, I'm even feeling a little too avoidant and anxious to get on the screen with you, then we'll get on the phone. I've done phone consults for many, many years before I got onto a screen because myself too, I felt like, I feel kind of funny to get on a video, but you learn to get over that, okay? And eventually you get more comfortable is how you learn to kind of get over that, right? And you have to begin by taking these steps, one of which is to order potentially the hair test and the 30-minute consult together. Now, to find out how you're going to heal yourself and establish a plan or an order of operations, it means that you need to come into a healing, rejuvenating, regenerating regenerating a generator generates energy for your home this is your home for your spirit okay we frequently call it the vehicle because your spirit is inside and it's able to it's able to move itself she just turned the music up sorry it's able to move itself around in the world through using this vehicle sorry about that she just turned the music up for a minute here so um what I wanted to say is that a lot of the times people feel terrified. They feel so afraid. And I know what that feels like. When Dr. Scott Nielsen looked at me in May of 2008, I had, I had passed out. I had been taken by ambulance because I generally do not doctor. You can look at my file, my doctor, that I had for a while because in order to get licensed and keep a business, I had to get a certificate of non-communicable disease every single year. So I had to have a doctor on file, which was Dr. Victoria Heron at the uh, Cloquet uh, Raider Clinic. And I went in every year and she goes, oh my God, you're so healthy. I don't, need, I don't need to do anything. I'm just willing to sign it off. She goes, you're incredible. And I said, well, you know, why don't we chalk it up to the game as a positive because it means I'm one less really big load on your mind and an already, I'm sure, already overburdened calendar that you keep every single day. Now, my function is different than your doctor. In addition to helping you as a plant-based nutritionist for over 30 years, experience reversing cancer, autoimmune, and many other diseases, I'm going to combine the gathering, stabilizing, detoxification, and the healing. And along that journey, I'm going to get to know you I'm going to get to get a sense of who you are, your spirit, so that I can give you the best possible guidance. You might say, I know, I already know for a fact I need to take off 25 pounds, or I already know for a fact I need to take off 60 pounds. Well, did you know that actually I could give you suggestions that you're going to be able to take off 60 pounds, definitely, piece of cake, absolutely easy, and still eat cookies and nice cream and everything else and you'll definitely beyond a shadow of a doubt take that off between four and six months and that's at an absolutely ultra conservative level of taking 10 pounds a month off if we do it at six months 60 pounds that's 10 pounds a month i tell my clients it's actually quite easy to take 20 to 30 pounds off a month because the body is shedding the water and then the mucus and the body is shedding inflammation, which is going to help you out. There's a technical term that's called catabolizing, and the body is going to start taking care of getting rid of what it doesn't need, or it's apoptosis, getting rid of the negative impact to the body. The skin becomes radiant. The eyes become better. The hearing becomes more clear. The hair becomes, um, I don't know, can you see my, um, let me come over it, whoops, this way backwards can you see the ringlets here okay this is just me getting out of the shower okay and because it's 37 degrees we're having kind of a fluke weekend and it's rainy and drizzly and we may even have a little bit of snow that doesn't stick to the ground tomorrow so I figured this is primo for me I want to get some videos done and truth be told I'm really laying down these videos not just for you 
but I'm also laying them down because I've got five family members that absolutely do not hear me when I talk about this. They're stuck in the, you're not a doctor mode. And I said, I never wanted to be a doctor. I respect them and I respect me equally. I believe that I'm also multiply intelligent and intuitively intelligent, and I bring something completely different. Um, I've had clients tell me that, you know, I was incredibly intelligent and they were very thankful for working with me. And I never, ever, ever let myself get big, big headed, not pig, big headed about it because I'm always learning. And if I hadn't helped that many people, and I mean hundreds of people in Santa Cruz, in San Jose, in Los Gatos, in Merced, um, here in Cloquet, in Duluth, all over Wisconsin, in Iowa, in Pretoria, Africa, now that we have the technology that we have, although I'm not wild about cell phone towers and 5G, really don't like that at all, I'm able to work with people all over the world just as simple as this. You're sitting in your comfy place, drinking your comfy drink, and I'm sitting in my comfy place, and you just have to start by filling out the wellness form. You can start by ordering, if you're in the United States, accepting the state of New York, because New York doesn't allow on-demand blood testing, and they don't allow hair testing. It's just a facet of New York and how their business, their male business runs. They don't allow that because of taxation, not because it's a fly-by-night, shady, shifty program. So um, when it comes to cancer, when Dr. Scott Nielsen said, you've got an extremely advanced case of ovarian carcinoma. I was used to hearing the word cancer, but I thought carcinoma. I want to say something. And I want you to really note this. I've never heard anyone else say it. I, my ethnicity is largely German and Irish my father is allegedly was French Canadian. In the German tradition, we are healers. We're hands on healers. We're extremely intuitive, right? Anyone can be. But in the German tradition, a grandmother, which is a wise elder, is called Oma. Why would you have melanoma, melan, melanin, Oma? Oma, Carson Oma. Why would you have those things, Kim? And who else is with us? An Oma, we live in a very negative female state, which means that the mothers and the grandmothers, more importantly, were of a very high integrity. Their health and their radiance and how they radiated was so awesome. But today, we've never been so sick, ill, toxic. I can go into Walmart across the street here from Baraboo Coffee Shop, and I will see the most poly-medicated, walking around, starch stiff, hobbling and wobbling and obese, lots and lots of central obesity, which is the pear-shaped individual. It's all in the gut, butt, and the hips. We are not making fun of anyone. It is not a judgment. If people do not understand why this is happening to them, why they are getting sick, I go to a gym that I went to for 14 years. I took a two-year break. I had a family member with extreme opioid addiction that went into heroin and fentanyl. So look at me. I'm real. I got an hour to two hours of sleep every night. I was at the emergency room at least once a week. I had police and paramedics in my home. I had head hitting the floor. I had wondering if up cooking all night long. Our people have become brain toxic. Now the doctors aren't doing anything about brain toxicity. And it's why on my Naturally with Karen page on Facebook, you'll see me repeatedly post about pituitary, you have a pituitary gland in the middle of the brain, it's like pea size, and it produces the TSH for your thyroid. The doctors often singularly only test the TSH level and make a decision reading a blood test. P 
people have a problem with me reading the omens outside or reading a person's chakra, which are the energy vortexes in the body, or reading a placenta, as my grandmother would talk about following a birth and knowing what the baby was exposed to in the placenta. But we have accepted lock, stock, and barrel reading blood tests. We just accept it. If it's got science behind it and we've been told science is behind it, we automatically accept it. But guess what? The truth is coming out that blood serum testing for thyroid evaluation is largely inaccurate. And that's coming out by key people who are speaking the truth and they're willing to get out. I've been speaking this for years upon years. Now, if you had massage bodies and done body work and energy work and people had come in and told you their stories, and you had done and become their medicine woman for 16 years in a small city of 11,000 people. And when their relatives came from Iowa and all over, they brought in their grandchildren, they brought in their grandmothers, they brought in all kinds of people because we've forgotten what original medicine is. We don't know any longer. We don't see it. You might see someone that talks about alkaline. You might see smoothie girl. You might see someone that's selling you detoxification herbs, you know, a young, a young guy, I was going to say a kid, but someone under 30 is, you know, selling herbs that they got and you know, they buy them by uh, five pound bags and they put them into bags and they sell people an herbal detox kit or whatever they want to do. Right. But you don't have anyone and I'm being as humble as I possibly can while being direct and real that is putting all these pieces together and has actual experience reversing disease and has testimonials, not just humans, but also dogs. Um, I am a wolf spirit shaman. That means I have always identified with wolf as a primary animal influence in my spirit. Wolf came to me at age four. And what I mean by that is that I started noticing wolf. I saw wolf. I saw wolf in the spiritual realm. This is common, common knowledge through indigenous people who understand nature law and spirit law, but it is not so common in the modern world where we've absented these things and we only have allopathic doctors who read blood testing, read moreover, ascribe values which are ascribed by, I did insurance defense law, ascribed by insurance companies. Insurance companies set the values or the ranges. So when you give blood out of the crook of your arm and you give tube after tube after tube, and they run those to the lab and they spin the blood and they test the blood and they put it next to a value system, it makes a determination about whether or not you have a disease. If you're inside or outside of the parameters established by who? Insurance companies who decide whether or not you're going to be treated. And that is also predicated upon by pharmaceutical industry that decides whether or not you're a good fit for their medication. I'm not saying that 90 that 100 percent of this is all bad. I'm saying that it's superfluous. And what that word means, if you don't know, is it means that it's too much. It's way too much. <clears throat> you hear a lot of people talking about mind, body, and spirit. But I've yet to meet someone who actually is healing people from the mind, the body, and the spirit. That's why I made my course, Crucial Keys to Unlocking Disease, which is on my website. You click the shop. You click courses. Click all courses. I know it's we're we've got to get a better system, but that's what we have right now. And you'll find my course. I'll put the link down below. Crucial keys to unlocking disease. If you work with people, if you're a Western allopathic doctor, you're a psychologist, a psychiatrist, you need to also add, infuse, bring on psychosomatics because we no longer deal with that. We no longer address what was the person thinking? 
if I work at what was formerly known as Potlatch Paper Mill, and I go to work every day and my coworkers are really toxic, they're backbiters, they don't really like me because they don't really like themselves, and I come to work and I've already had a problem, the dog crapped on the floor, my children are I'm being told that they can't sit still in their seats and what the hell am I going to do about this? I can't get myself to work on time because there's so many problems in my family. And now my, my coworkers are like, what's wrong with you, man? You're making my life harder because I can't get to work on time. All the way around, it's kick the dog syndrome. And really, literally and physically, the dogs are getting it taken out on them. I am such a dog lover. And you can catch that video that I'll be uploading to YouTube today that's on my Facebook page, Naturally with Karen. What ends up happening is the person has thoughts day after day after day. I don't want to go to my job. I hate my job. I don't like my job. What the hell am I going to do with my life? I've got bills. I've got a car payment. I've got a house that I own. I can't sell my house. My wife doesn't want to leave here. My parents are here and they're getting older. I've got to take care of them. I'm trapped. I'm stuck in a situation. And you will literally create a way out for yourself. You'll either do it with a car accident You'll do it with a disease, you'll do it with a diagnosis, but you will create a way out for yourself. So you need to be very careful with mind-body, with psychosomatics, mind-soma, psycho-psychological, the soma, the body. That's why I call it soma yoga, right? Because we're dealing with yoga with the body. So there's a really huge difference in summary here between a healer, a regenerator, regeneration specialist is what I have on my cards. I was going to look for it, but I think it's down in my purse. Regeneration specialist. I've gone to a few people who were interested in having me write out a diet plan, and they said, what the hell is regeneration? How will anybody even know what that means? I said, you generate energy, okay? <laughs> Kim, I like your faces. You generate energy. So you're either degenerating, which means you're like the folks I was just describing that I see at Walmart that are on polypharmacy. They're on multiple pills every day. Their carts, their shopping carts are lined up with Mountain Dew or Diet Coke. They're in plastic containers with the plastic wrapping on them. They've got the classic chips in the boxes and they've got the big plastic container with the cheese puff balls for the children and they're going to go home and they're going to make cream cheese frosted desserts and they're going to clog up their arteries they're going to eat lots and lots of wheat and pizza at night and popcorn and all kinds of stuff and they're going to wonder why they have gut issues and they have gas and they have bloating so let's not blame people let's not put judgment out there what i'm saying instead is you have a resource you have the ability to work one-on-one -on -one out of your own home or your own business and see me through the screen and I will help you. I had a client on Wednesday and she and I were working together and it was her third session. Third session, I know what three is. Actually, I was showing two fingers. She was third session. And um, she is in her early 70s. And as we were working together, I was looking at the list of medications that she's on. I was looking at her hair test, and I saw some really key insights by looking at her hair tissue testing. I said to myself, something still isn't right here. She said, you know what? I'm off almost all the wheat. I'm off almost all the dairy. I am doing amazing. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, you did this so soon. I'm so, so happy for you. I'm so excited. And as we got ready to wrap up our 45, the 45 minute consult is my standard consult. It gives us time to answer questions, go over a few dietary, a few kitchen equipment ideas, and to go over the hair test, whatever we need to cover, right? She also scheduled a thyroid ultrasound, which I recommended due to her age, due to the fact that she was left-handed, and due to the fact that she had some other issues going on. I felt that that was a really prudent investment, and her doctor had absolutely not even a slight flinch about it. So as we got going further, she said, you know, after I leave my exercise class, I go to McDonald's. Uh, what, what should I be getting when I, when I go over there? And I said, well, I'm really glad that you brought that up, that you felt like 
you could tell me that because you might not be aware that anything you order off the menu at McDonald's, excepting uh, rarely having a salad there and the dressings are goopy and clogging, is going to be a problem. She said, well, I just have a coffee and I just order off the dollar menu. So I get one of those chicken sandwiches. I said, well, remember we were going to, you know, try to not have the starch and the wheat really help your body because her number one goal right now is to take off weight around the middle. So it was really great that she felt open and honest enough and feels comfortable with me because she's a very private person that I was able to talk about giving her an, another option. So the option I gave her that she really liked was I said, did you know that you could go over to Gordy's Warming House? You could drive right through because she brings the McDonald's and goes to her friend's house. You could drive right through Gordy's and you could get an almond milk chia pudding. They're in a, um, a container that's got uh, strawberries and kiwi and fruit at the top. And then it's got a separated container that's got some really good coconut granola on the top of it. And she thought that was awesome. So I gave her another option. They're $3.99. And if you're listening and you're looking for a business, remember that you and your children are going to need to know how to provide for yourself if we're going to continue to live in a world as we are today that requires you to pay an ever-increasing cost for food, insurance, for um, your shelter, for warmth in your shelter, for clothing, and uh, all the different taxations that you have. So it's incredibly important, not that you make your life singularly focused about money, but that if you're um, homeschooling or you're, you know, you have two, three, four hours a day out of your 24 hours, I'm assuming that you're sleeping eight hours, right? So that would leave us two-thirds of the 24 hours and if you homeschool six or seven hours where you're on the books or you're on the lessons or whatever that leaves you extra time where you could be establishing a business so that your children can flow into that business with you that is actually viable enough to keep you and that's something that's really important that I want to bring up because otherwise you are going to be in a situation where your children are going to be forced to go out there and take jobs, maybe work in places. And we are having more and more deranged, disordered thinking with personality, mood, sexual appetite, deviancy, deranged thinking. And it's not, um, it's not going to get better until we address the root cause. And that's why I like to present myself as a healer and not alternative medicine, I'm original medicine, which means I look at how did you get there in the first place? What happened with your thinking, your eating, your gut, the medications you're taking, the land you live on, what you were exposed to with mama in utero. I'm putting all these things together and this is not one, two or three sessions unless you're, I'm losing weight, I need to sleep better, I need to take down some anxiety kind of a client. But if you're coming to me and you have cancer, be prepared that it's going to need to be as long as you're going to need it to be. If you decide I can only afford three sessions, we do three sessions. If you can afford more and we're going to get you through the cancer to the best of our ability, it's going to take money. It's going to take time. It's going to cost you, it's going to take money to go buy supplements, to get hair testing, to meet with me. I've worked 35 years with people now, so while I still give a lot for free, and every single day I give for every single day, I either buy people food, I help them freely. Just this morning, I was helping someone freely through the computer who said, I've got a question, I don't have any money at all, I need help. And this is something that is the difference between just a correspondent school coach and a real legit shaman. So um, I'm here. I'm going to look to see. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. I think you look absolutely phenomenal. I've seen your pictures and you look amazing. I think I might look better if it was a super warm, sunny day. But 
um, it is what it is. And so um, I'm getting better day by day. I'm, I love the, I always get confused with it, but I love the fact that I'm getting these, these ringlets back. And um, I love what I do. So sometimes it might feel really um, weird when you say, what do you mean there's no diagnosis? Well, that you would turn away. Parkinson's disease is a neurotoxic, toxic brain and toxic gut. Now, even modern science has proven that Parkinson's starts in the gut. I was listening to people in 1984, Pamela Masters, who'd gone through Hippocrates Institute in California and had worked there. I was already listening to people in 1984 who said all disease comes from the gut. In 1988, or before 1987, I think it was, 86, 87, um, Jean Aragon and my father, Ken Pringle, bought me three of Professor Arnold Errett's original thin books. They were phenomenal. I read through them. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Um, so I learned about Arnold Errett back then. Later in life, I learned about Dr. Sabi, who's really fond of us not eating hybridized and genetically modified foods because the gut doesn't really recognize them and turn them into fuel. What I want to say lastly before we leave is that we need to stop saying, oh, you've got this disease, you need to eat blueberries. You've got this disease, you need to drink celery juice. You've got this disease, you need to do this. We need to stop using treatment language. We need to heal the whole person. I am a healer, a very humble healer, but a very powerful healer, a shaman, medicine woman, wolf spirit, water is my element. I am a cancer in Western and Vedic astrology, both, which means I am very earth mother. So while I will hold you accountable to the degree that you want me to, I'm not going to be punishing you. I'm not going to be guilt tripping you. What I'm going to be doing is helping you go each step of the journey so you can get to your goals. We don't do more than three goals because it's too confusing. If you've got cancer, the sooner that you start, the better. I'm not telling you to not see your doctor. What I'm saying is just consider for a moment getting and ordering a hair test and doing the 30-minute eval through the video with me of your hair test you do it all through the mail and through the video with your consult when the results come back in about two weeks after I get your hair sample. I mail out your hair kit. You get it back to me. I get on the screen with you. I show you, just like I did with, with uh, Pam. Got her on a $20 bottle of liquid ionic copper. She's now having uh, deep sleep cycles and waking up and having dreams, which she hasn't had for years. She had her taste of sense uh, and sense of uh, smell and taste were greatly diminished, and they're coming back. We're talking in three days to a week. So now imagine if she keeps coming, and I'm also looking for two clients who are 100% on board and willing to do a weekly live session with me of 15 minutes to a half an hour, and I will donate the sessions to you in exchange for a testimonial. A lot of people are afraid to get on the video camera. So at my website, naturallywithkaren.com, you can read testimonials, stage three kidney disease, lupus, my own ovarian cancer, myasthenia gravis, uh, Brian Marshall with his 31 year, 85% of his body psoriasis. I have taken on some of the most advanced as well as some of the basic. I'm here for you, okay? So I wish you love and um, the difference is we don't have to battle, kill, conquer, destroy. We don't have to overkill and put all these poisons inside. All of the 25 clients that I've had, including Lisa, who's now gone, who had breast cancer, are no longer living because they went the chemotherapy route. If you ask your average doctor, nine out of 10 doctors would not do chemotherapy themselves to battle, kill, and destroy, and conquer, and annihilate, and what else? fight. Stop fighting. What I'm going to teach you is how to make peace with your mind, your body, so that you can radiate, so that your eyes are great, so that your joints are amazing, 
if you look on Naturally with Karen at Facebook, Facebook Naturally with Karen page, you'll see that I, I inside of Whole Foods, I took a picture of the front cover of a magazine, What the Doctors Don't Tell You. You're getting hip replacements and knee replacements. I can't even go to the gym in the morning without hearing folks that are over 50, over 50. Each one of them are announcing their scheduled surgeries and, and hip and knee replacements and shoulder surgeries and rotator cuff and their new medication. It is absolutely dizzying. It's startling to me to have this many people on drugs, legalized pill pushing drugs. It's startling to me. Let's stop battling. Let's stop fighting. Let's stop bombing and building wars and spraying the crap out of our food with pesticides that are killing us. It's killing our children. It's taking down our lifespan. It's obsoleting us just like the light bulb has been done. And you're not even seeing it. Maybe you are but you're not even seeing what's happening in front of your very eyes. I've seen it since the 1960s because my grandmother made me aware of opening my eyes and seeing the truth. I've had a lifelong journey of understanding animal communication. So of course I heard wolf. I get it. I'm not a typical person in a white skin bag in a Caucasian world. I didn't go and get a certification to become a shaman. I'm not a doctor. I didn't want to do the allopathic system. It's not me. I'm original medicine. In a world where a lot of people were gotten rid of for good reason, because it doesn't mesh with the business model that's being presented to the majority of people. I have gotten no less than five hair test orders where people are on so many medications, a long list of medications, a long list of diseases, left-handedness, dyslexia, being extremely tall, dwarfism, fibromyalgia, birth issues, infertility. Let me help you with your thyroid before it's too late. If you don't have money, approach me and ask me to make a trade with you. I have bills to pay too, but I will always help you. But don't just not help yourself for fear of asking me. Consider a trade. Energy is energy. My time is valuable. Your time on earth is valuable. You don't have anyone else out there with 35 years of hands-on and being raised the way that I was. There's no one out there. I don't just do alkaline foods. I don't just do electric foods. I do a lot more than that. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel or my Naturally with Karen page, and you say to yourself, I want to meet with you, let's meet through FaceTime first through a video. Let's talk. If you're an angel investor and you want to know if I'm really worth, I'm credible. I have a strong professional background. I'm looking for a backer that wants to step in and be a promoter and so we can do some on and offshore retreats so women can come and learn the real truth about what they need to know to optimize their fertility and their pregnancies, to op optimize their future children, to help their thyroid issues, to reverse cancer, to work with autoimmune. I'm ready. At this stage, I've raised my child and I'm ready to go out and create and take this medicine that I've learned through hard work and determination using my hands my brain for study for hours every day and buying hundreds of books and courses and learning bit by bit by bit by bit and putting the pieces together and working it with real people. I'm not a fake actor. I don't have lumineers on my teeth. I'm a real person who's really legitimately healed people. And that's not something that's being done today through allopathic medicine. So you guys have an awesome day. I want to thank you so much for joining me and staying on board with me. Please feel free to share this, and it'll be uploaded to YouTube soon. You guys have an awesome Saturday.